And the microphone should be on now. Yeah. <coughs> this stream was supposed to be yesterday, and instead it's happening today. It's also going to be short. Shortish. Last time on uh, Chrono Trigger, we had uh, Vegeta and other Vegeta uh, face off in Vegeta's castle, and now we're in the past with female Vegeta who just ran off to get a pterodactyl. We're going to meet her, and we're going to probably kill the Reptites, because they fucked up a village of people and killed everyone. how big this area is. I don't think it's too large. I think it's like three or four rooms. Schist. I don't get that name. Schist. Do it mean? Also, sorry if my commentary is a little meh tonight. I'm not. I'm not really feeling that a hundred percent here. Okay, so I looked at the DS version of the game, and something I noticed is that you can definitely use inactive party members' text outside of battle. They do not have to be in your party. Your active party to to use the uh, healing ability, and obviously they could heal people that aren't in your party either. It really feels weird to have it restricted that way, especially since you could switch out party members at any time. And also, 
the game never really makes you go through any really long stretches of having no way of refilling yourself. So, it, it seems almost pointless in a way. Speaking of, who's the lowest level right now? Well, Robo's at the highest out of everyone that could switch out. So we really gotta keep him in. Really, it very much helps that Chrono has the most powerful magic right now. And he can't be switched out. Also, that did not do a lot of damage. Yeah, uh, shorter stream tonight, because I didn't stream last night. Um, I had to get some stuff done. And there was a bit of a, uh... A bit of an issue I had with something that actually hasn't been resolved, but I don't. There's nothing I can do about it, so. You know how it is. You know how it be. Luca learn to protect. She attack, but she also protect. Ups allies' physical defense. Not that useful. She will get fire next. I'm also about to rank up there as well. Then I'll probably switch them in just so we could get their next uh, ability after that. Of course, there's another ape. Mezzo male. Seven points, huh? Oh, that's actually worse than the Mr. Robe, though. I wasn't getting out of here without another battle. I'm like, this seems way too open. Avian Rex. See, they're not very bird-like, though. They have bat wings. Or dragon wings. So they're not really avian. I'm very particular about that phrase. Marl learned haste, which means it's time to switch out. This is the top. Yep. Oh no. Thou ghost forth alone? 
I know not thine quest, but a comrade of Kronos is also mine. I will not I will not allow thee to meet thy demise alone. No, Tyranno lay are dangerous. Maybe I'll perish. You desire to perish? I refuse to be a party to yet another demise. Let us proceed, Chrono. Ayla have strong friends. So fun fact. Let us proceed to the Tyranno Lair. So fun fact, that red star up there is actually supposed to be Lavos. And I think it disappears once Lavos shows up. Also, it's technically an interactable item, though you can't get up there. And if you interact with it, it acts like opening a chest. And it gets glitch like it gets like glitch graphics because there's nothing associated with it. And you get no item for doing it. But yeah, if you go out of bounds, you can actually open that. It's really weird. Oh man, really? Excuse me. Like I said, it's it's been a couple days, and I've been stressed. Heavily. Heavily stressed. So here's the first instance of flying in this game. We can go wherever the hell we want, which doesn't mean a lot. Because truth be told, there's not much else in prehistory except for this. Oops. So clearly someone's been here because they made torches, but they don't tell you what this is what the deal with this place is. I don't think there are any bad characters in this game. I remember having a lot of fun with Ayla. Yeah, Ayla's fun. Ayla's fun because you don't have to worry about her weapon. Her weapon upgrades automatically as you fight. So originally, there's a song in the soundtrack that was supposed to imply that there's a place that you go to, most likely right here in prehistory at some point, but it got removed and the song goes unused in the soundtrack. It was referred to as the Singing Mountain. So again, not a, oh, not a whole lot to prehistory. You just go to the Tyranno Lair. What the? Okay. All right, we gotta do this now. Cause she's faster. What? How's Chrono dead? I looked away for a second while the attacks were playing out and Chrono dies. Did I not heal him? I don't think I did, that's probably why. think of it, you don't have to worry about, um... Revives from shock, okay. Come to think of it, you don't have to worry about Frog's equipment either, because the Masamune is what he holds for most of the game. And then you give him the hero badge, because that's what he's supposed to equip in his accessory. So he actually has less equipment to worry about than Ayla. Alright, well they learned that. They learned, uh, those moves. That's right, now I have to kind of switch back in. See if everyone can learn some new, uh, new shit.
Reptites are creatures of very few words. Oh, yikes. I probably should not have entered here without using a shelter. I just realized Chrono has, like, no MP left because he wasted all of it on lightning. Alright, they didn't learn anything. Also, I love how the Reptites are advanced enough that they have the technology to make lock... lock mechanisms for their doors. It's not something you'd expect from, like, an ancient lizard race. But they also... They're intelligent enough to sp It's very funny how the game subverts, like... the, the typical... Dinosaur human relationship, even though dinosaurs and humans never live together in real life. It's very interesting how it portrays that, because in this, they portray the lizards as being the super intelligent people of the era. Why is that already happening? That usually. That hasn't happened this whole game. <coughs> anyway. Yeah, they portray the uh, lizards as being like the super intelligent ones, while the humans are kind of dumb and. Primitive. <laughs> and yet they still win in the end because we're interfering. Silurians were a thing all the way from classic Doctor Who. I've never seen any of Doctor Who, so that's probably why I don't know that. <laughs> Thanks for bringing, er, being the main course. It's the apes! I mean, yeah, the intelligent lizard thing definitely has been done before. But it's, um, it's still a very interesting way of looking at it. Especially in the context of it being prehistory and humans still somehow being the dominant species, even though they're way less intelligent. Ayla! Kino, get back! Ayla, save you! We could hit the button. What are you doing in there? Sorry, Ayla. All Kino's fault. No matter. Kino escaped with Laruba villagers. What Ayla do? Put end to this. Kino go too. Kino no come. If Ayla dead, Kino new chief of Yoka. Ayla. Jeez. Ayla strong, no lose. Kino understand, and show you something. Mid-ether. I love how this game just throws mid-ethers at you. It really makes... Oops. Ah, eh, whatever. It really makes it a lot easier than a Final Fantasy game where ethers are, like, rarer than gold. I didn't get any text from that, so let's put Robo in. You strong, me weak. Ayla, good chief. Oh boy, now comes the actual dungeon.
Bye, titty. Titty animal. Titty dinosaur. Oh, lightning heals those. Those aren't the same as the ones from Dactyl Nest. Ah, she learned another tech. Crud. Well, time for more switching out. So what else? Um, I'm almost at the end of Persona 5. I think I'm on the second to last dungeon. I, I mean, the game makes it sound like it's the last dungeon, but it's, there's probably going to be another one. Because it's going to do the Persona 4 thing. Where it's like, up, oh, you're at the very end. Guess what? There's one more challenge for you to overcome because you realize that things aren't what they seem or whatever. It's been a fun game, but man, uh... I'm ready for those. I'm ready for that 100-hour experience to come to a close soon. Really? Blaze it. I think he logged around 190 hours in P4. I think it was, for me, it was about 100, 110 for P4. About 100 for P3. P3 took me forever, though. I started it in August of the year I was playing it, and I didn't finish it until December when Persona 4 had just come out. Like, I actually didn't finish Persona 3 until after Persona 4 was already out in the, out in the wild. I remember buying it on release day and being like, man, I wish I was playing this instead of the answer, because the answer in P3 is awful. It is, without a doubt, one of the worst experiences I've had. And the P3 do P4, uh, I guess anthology. Or P3 do P5, sorry. Oh, look, it's my favorite enemy. It's the pterosaur. The booby, the booby dinosaur. P4 didn't have the answer. P4 had the golden, which I never played. Which uh, apparently amounts to a bunch of extra events and a new dungeon. Nowadays, you wouldn't even have to worry about that anymore because you could just add DLC, so... Like, if Persona 5 ever gets DLC, then... You don't need to buy a whole new game for it. One last let's player you followed did a complete run of P3 except for God damn it, except for the answer. You know what? You're better off just watching a video of the story scenes from the answer because the answer's not good. I don't like it. Actually, even the story for the answer is not that great, really. Shit. The answer, like, screws with a lot of people's uh, personalities. Like, I feel like a lot of the characterization and development from the uh, the journey gets undone in the answer. Just because they're like, the, the, the thought of the protagonist coming back to life, which 
Spoilers, if you haven't played P3, he dies at the end. The, the thought of him coming back to life sends everyone into, like, this crazy, like, anti-development spiral that doesn't get resolved until the end of the game. Where am I? Oh, I'm back down in the basement. Full tonic. That is why it is worth coming over here. I mean, I am really enjoying Persona 5. It's just... I mean, at the, at the point I'm at, I'm just tired of it now. And I'm ready for it to end. I've been playing it pretty hard since uh, I started, like, actually getting into it. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Ceratopper. It is a helm. Three points. Worse than the tab and helm. Alright, so who needs it the most? Marl. So I will now switch Frog back in, since we haven't seen if he will get a new tap with her. Damn it. Eh. This room never made sense to me. Like, I don't understand what's happening. Why are we warping around like this? What is causing that to happen? How do we get over to that one? I don't know why, but this is reminding me of a room from the end of Twilight Princess. When you're in Hyrule Castle. And now that I think about it, I actually played Twilight Princess before I played Chrono Trigger, because I got the Wii for Christmas of 2007, and that's when I got Twilight Princess. And then I got this when it came out in the DS in mid-20, or late 20, uh, 2008, 2008, excuse me. Fuck. <laughs> I think I've, like, searched this whole room. I can't figure out how to get to that one. Oh, well, I didn't activate that yet. I'd say my biggest problem with Persona 5 so far isn't the game itself, it's the controller I'm using. My friend lent me his PS3 and the controller he let me borrow with it is so bad. I hate it. Like the L2 and uh, the L1 and L2 buttons and also the R1 button and the square button constantly like read inputs when I'm not pressing them. And it's usually linked to the left control stick, which moves. So it's like, if I move, there's, there's, there's just a possibility that I'll either open the map, open the menu, 
uh, start using my third eye technique, which should let you see hidden shit. And it's like, what the hell am I doing? Why is this happening? Why is this controller so bad? I mean, I don't have any reason to believe that there's a way I could get over there. Maybe you have to fall down there from later. Behind door number two. Oh, this crap. Okay. So the volcano enemies here get healed by lightning, but when you beat them, they hurt all the other enemies, which is pretty cool. You kind of need to do lightning on that thing. Tech points. Yay. More, more good stuff. It's behind switch number two. Nothing. Huh. That's interesting. What's this then? Oh, god damn it, really? That's. If I had one gripe about Chrono Trigger, it's that the fact that the enemies regenerate the second you leave a room. Is kind of annoying. Because it's not like it's a random battle where you could decrease the chance of it happening. If you go through a room, you guarantee that battle's going to start. Unless you walk past the loading zone for it. Leap slash at an enemy. And what else did you learn? Spire. Attack enemy with spire. Interesting. How about that? How about that? Slurp himself. Just open the gate outside. Uh, and now I gotta fight this again anyway.
Chrono learns life. Wait, he learns a healing spell? Really? Bring Ally back to life. That's so bizarre. You wouldn't think he would learn a healing spell like that. Zala's in the back. Uh, okay. I don't remember Nisbel being right there. God damn it. Oh, you can just walk past him. Hold it, hold it, hold it. This is a special place. The great Nisbel was defeated here. Wait, what? But you're Nisbel. I'm so confused. He's Nisbel too. I'm so confused by what this is supposed to be referring to. Defense powers up when attacked, and defense lowers when hit by lightning. Alright, so I see how this works. The problem is if I have two people attacking him, that's two power-ups for one power down. So what I should do is spend a turn healing while Chrono throws a lightning out. Uh-oh. Oh, he does that thing. One more lightning should be good. Then we'll heal, and then next turn we'll start laying into him a bit more. So we'll do lightning, and then we'll do a combo of bubble hit. Let's see what that does. If it does more than, like, 600, then that's what we'll rely on. Nice. Thank you. 
So wait, did I defeat Nisbell one? I'm not, I'm so, I'm confused. That wasn't the thing I fought before, was it? I think it was. But he wasn't defeated here. He was defeated out in the left. I don't know. I can't remember. It, it was it, it, that was that was two days ago. How am I supposed to remember that? Or three days ago? How was that? Oh, it was poison. Uh, uh oh, I better heal up soon. All right, never mind. We won. And we have a convenient place to use a shelter right here. I don't know if we're done yet. No, we're not. We're not done yet. I remember this palace being one of the more draggy places of the game. Like having to do Magus's palace and then this right afterwards. Feels like if it feels a little like battle heavy and, and draggy and I don't know. Oh wait, I need to shock him shit. Beam. Was that a multi heal? Restore all allies HP. Some cool. Wait, what? Uh, eh. Just great. See, they punish you by making you do extra battles for fucking up a puzzle. And I kind of don't feel like that's that would hold up very well today. The, the fact that I have to backtrack alone is, is already enough is already enough of a time waster.
gotta get fight another battle here, because then the enemies come out of there. Yep. So it's just like, oh god, and then I gotta fight the battle coming out of the next room too, or whatever. Thankfully they go quick. I mean, that's that's probably the biggest thing about the battles in this game that makes it worth playing. It's that the battles are quick and fun to watch, at least. Except when my computer does that for some reason. Still don't understand what that's about. That just makes a save point appear. Which I guess is fine. More enemies! And it's dead. I mean, another interesting thing too is that the game is kind of designed in a way where it's like... Physically, if an enemy's not gonna resist you for some reason, you're gonna plow through them pretty quickly. Like, these enemies, you need to hit them with lightning first, but like, any other enemy that you don't need to hit with anything, you're gonna be like, okay, I'll hit you once or twice and you're gonna be dead. And it feels very... Oh god, more of them. Uh, it feels very, like... Intentional. Like, it makes you feel powerful. Instead of a Final Fantasy game where you run into a bunch of mooks and, like, you're... Wailing on them for, like... Like, a minute straight. Unless you have spells to kill them. This game does a great job of making you feel like you're actually getting stronger as you go through it. Or rather, it makes you feel like you're strong from the beginning, which is an interesting take. It's like, yeah, you're gonna get stronger, but you're already pretty evenly matched with everyone you're kind of come across against at this point in the game. That's our old buddy Azala. So, you are here at last. This is it then. The showdown. Today, there shall be a conclusion. Will it be the Reptites, or you silly apes who will end up ruling the world? Strong survive. Ayla strong. Ayla fight. Hear that lovely voice? You'll soon become the best of friends. Oh, you can't actually sit in that throne. There's a throne later in the game that you could sit on, and everyone does a, a little, like, pose on it. Alright, so who would be the best choice for this situation? I'm going to assume Frog.
red star. Fall! Stain the earth red! Though it may be our fate to perish, we will not simply hand this world over to you. <laughs> With this black tyranno, I could finally exterminate those filthy apes! Shit's getting real. Stone an enemy. I like how she could just drop you off a cliff, but instead she chooses you to slam you on the ground. Also, yeah, this boss I recall being a pretty hard ordeal. Teleportation teleports a rock. So Lou just gives justification as to why there's a floating rock there. Ooh, that actually is pretty damaging. It doesn't seem like Ayla can actually do a whole lot right now. Zala break HP down. Oh. I'm guessing that's uh, on on menu. HP down means, uh, you're taking the, uh, whatever it's called. Slow HP drain, yep. Okay, so how do you damage this? I think you have to wait for it to do with this, um, the countdown move, because it has one of those. Removes defense and is storing power, there we go. Means it's time to wail on this thing. Chronos Falcon hit. Let's see what that does. Eight hundred forty, not bad. Does not remove that that slurp does not or like slurp kiss or whatever that heals status does not remove the uh, the uh, HP bug. I refer to it as HP bug because whenever I see that effect, I think of Mega Man Battle Network, where if you fuck up the Navi customizer, just makes you lose HP. Anyway, we gotta be standbying on standby for heal. I don't know why I said standbying. Fuck, what is wrong with me? Why do I do that? 
If I take like more than one second to say things. That isn't even that damaging, honestly. Oh wait, but it must have maybe it brought its defense back up. Nah. Uh, yeah, it kind of did. Okay. So it's weird, his defense goes back up, but not a lot. Okay, here we go. Because that does nothing, because that freezes the timer, so it's not like it's wasting your time while he's building up energy. We're all running pretty low on MP, though. Be a good time to just pull out the slurp kiss. Oh, we won. I mean, if there was any doubt in my mind. a weird death. Its head glows and then the whole body just disappears. And then Azala's just there behind it. No, it can't be. Could the heavens truly have sided with the apes? Listen, primates, and let it be known. We reptites fought bravely to the bitter end. Hela, understand. Let's just stand on the curved part of the bridge. Soon, stones of fire will rain down. Flames shall scorch the land. The burned out plains will slowly freeze, ushering in a long, cruel ice age. <laughs> what a treat. You will wish you went down along with us. <laughs>
Ayla's word. La mean fire. Vos mean big. It's funny how she made up that word, and then it becomes the name of this cosmic terror. Ayla. Kino. Oh, I thought that was Azala saying that. Hurry, Lavos comes soon. All right, Dacto. Kino, hurry. Ayla, what you do? Come, Azala, come. Absolutely not. The powers that be have spoken. Ayla, hurry. Azala, me not forget the future. Future. What about future? We have no future. It's interesting how they kind of parody the mass extinction event of the dinosaurs and work it into like space alien chrono story bullcrap it is a very neat touch how it like mm. whatever lost my train of thought and through, no f through no fault of Magus does Lavos live Lavos hath fallen from the sky in ancient times Lavos, huge. Chrono, fight it? Chrono, we go where Lavos fall. Left unscathed, it will burrow deep within the earth. Best to defeat it now. It's funny how it only makes that little crater, and yet it, it's the mass extinction event. <laughs> Is a gate. Lavos very fast. Deep under earth already. M mayhap Lavos be the cause of this warp? The one in Magus's castle was immense. What's wrong, Chrono? Fight Lavos. Go in here. Yes? Yes. Also, why, how come this warp point worked properly, but any other ones when we had more than three people, we get sent to the end of time? Wh where are we? Tis strange. Where this, Chrono? So if I go back, does it send me to the end of time or no? It does. Tyran Fortress. They can't even fit it. What a strange new guest. Are you from the Middle Ages? I don't believe Ayla gets magic because she's born too too early. All right, sweetheart. Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed, but you seem to have other skills that will get you by. We've now officially entered every time portal.
12,000 BC. This is definitely the area that was like, when I first got here, I was like, oh man, what the hell is this? Because it's still BC era, but it's like, there's clearly buildings and something weird going on here. The world map is very empty on the ground. And then you find out that it's like, oh, that's not the world map. Because there's way more to this area than you'd think. Alright, I could switch, uh, Ayla out. Also, best music in the game right here. That said, for, for a civilization that has such advanced teleportation magic, you would think it would be a little more convenient to get through the islands than by having to come down to the mainland to do this. Oh, I didn't mean to come here. Shit. Are you guys? Everything okay with the Blackbird? Everything's a-okay, Sir Dalton. Of course it is, you idiot. Hey, you. What are you doing there? Haha. <laughs> it was true, then. You're the ones the Prophet said would come and cause trouble. Let's see how you handled this little situation. I didn't think they'd make it so easy on me. thought something so big could fly, huh? The Blackbird's a symbol of how advanced Zeal's culture is. This is the magical city of Kajar. We do experiments for the Queen. Your power differs from ours. In you, I sense a strange aura of... kindness. Combine the ancient rainbow shell and the sunstone to create incredible weapons and items. But now only the Guru of Life has the skill. Elemental power usage is forbidden. Ah, plants are so content. I wish I could be too. This is a spring of recovery. Fill your mind and body here. Whoop. That's the sun keep you see on the southern continent. A sunstone, once the source of this world's power, was kept there. But when we began using our new energy source, it was sealed up, just like the North Palace. They claim they don't need the energy of this tired old planet. His only friend, other than his sister, is that stupid cat. What tempest rages in his head? We've been seeing a lot of Janus lately. He appears upset and paces around. Queen Zeal has two heirs, Shala and Zanus. Uh, Janus. Shala's an incredible child who has extraordinary magical powers. Being so gifted, she'll breeze through life. You've got an unusual aura, so you must possess the skill, too. It must be very primitive compared to ours, you poor things. How did we come by our skills? And why do others lack them? 
Eh, who cares? Those lacking magic have always lived beneath the clouds as the earthbound ones. After all, they lack what we have, and they must be inferior as a result. Oh, they actually sell ethers here. Tonics. We better start stocking up on those. I've got load shields, but I cannot sell them unless the queen says it's okay. Shaw's powers far exceed those of her mother. Then there's her stepbrother, Janus. He's of royal blood, but he doesn't seem to have a speck of magic. I'm working on a tab that will boost magical skill. But my precious products have been disappearing lately. Must be the naughty new that hid them. They love pranks. What can I do? Oops, that's a defective item. Too bad, huh? <laughs> A strange prophet has come to the palace. I don't know the details, but I heard he has uncanny powers. Zeal's advances stem from a new energy source. Its power surpasses that of the elements. The gurus of lifetime and reason live in Zeal. Their skill and knowledge is supreme. The guru once told me that the sunstone could hold almost infinite energy of our sun. But if its energy were all used up, it would lose its glow and change into a moonstone. Did you know a moonstone can be recharged if you leave it in the sun? But it takes aeons, so it's unlikely for us to see that gorgeous glow again. Water summons wind, wind makes fire dance. The ocean palace lies deep beneath the waves. It's a symbol of the queen's power. The palace is the sort of source of light which sustains all living things. Queen Zeal the Great. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the palace. So they do have a purpose after all. Indeed, the great aeroplane Blackbird, which Balthazar built. When it soars in the sky, it looks alive. Balthazar is truly a genius. The construction of the Ocean Palace is behind schedule. Eternal Palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight when it's done. There's a hidden item. I believe it's up here. It's really weird, like you see it glowing from the other side of the wall, but you have to hit it from this side. Water summons wind when it's fired. Alright, so water wind fire. Because now I believe it's not glowing up there anymore. Yep. That was wind. That was fire. Water. Wind. Fire. found something strange. But a black rock is inside. It all began aeons ago when man's ancestors picked up a shard of a strange red rock. Its power, which was beyond human comprehension, cultivated dreams. In turn, love and hate were born. Only time will see how it all ends.
What does the black rock do? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, the black rock, I believe, is, um... First off, who needs speed? Luca still needs it. You can't use it on your inactive party. I believe the Black Rock invokes Triple Tech Dark Eternal. Can be used by Marl, Luca, and Unknown. So that's the the rocks. Would oh, you start getting them now? They allow you to do tr special triple techs of certain party members, but you can't actually use any of them now because the rocks only work if Chrono is not in the party, and Chrono is permanently in the party until I would say another couple hours from now. Then you get the ability to remove them. Given that speed tab to Luca. We'll be heading back the way we came because I made a stupid error and went the way I was supposed to first. Oh, so you can't go over there at all. And Hasa. This is the eternal kingdom of Zeal, where dreams can come true. But at what price? Whoosh! Welcome to Anhasa, in the magical kingdom of Zeal. We find truth in the bliss of sleep. Dear me, and who might you be? What strange visitors. Welcome to Zeal. Is this part of a dream? Queen Zeal rules our magical kingdom. She is without peer in beauty and greatness. The queen has given us everything. After the king died, she nurtured the magic, which has advanced the kingdom. Queen has sealed away the elemental weapons in the North Palace. You could see its entrance on the Northern Continent, but no one is allowed there. It's the Triangle. The Square Annex Triangles. The door to the North Palace is sealed with a mysterious energy. Even we, the Enlightened Ones, Enlightened Ones, excuse me, cannot open it. Welcome. What can I do for you? Same shit you're selling in the other town. Hey, what's wrong? You have something to say? What's wrong with them? What a weird kid. Wind howls. One among you will shortly perish. H hey, explain yourself. What? Out of the blue? Like that? Chrono, this is kind of creepy. It's only a bad joke. It's unscientific. I wonder what's inside the North Palace. I bet there's a key to it in the palace, but entry is strictly forbidden. 
The queen's palace is at the center of zeal. From there, she protects the entire world. That's why we can sleep our days away. <sighs> the city of Kajar, where they study magic, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship Blackbird is also kept there. Truths exist in dreams. Herbal tea. Crystals. Am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? Or a bowling ball dreaming I'm a plate of sashimi? Never assume that what you see and feel is real. Do you believe in fate, which means our lives are predetermined? Yes, of course. So, you are a believer. Yes, it is useless for us to fight destiny. Wait, is that the thing? Oh, yeah. No such thing as fate. You're right. We're masters of our own destinies. Speaking of which, I believe there may be a doorway of destiny somewhere around here. So, is there supposed to be, like, one of these dolls here, or what? Water. Nope. The guru of reason is gone. Challenge me. Oh, okay. The Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. All life begins with new and ends with new. This is the truth. This is my belief. At least for now. So something interesting is that both of these hidden rooms have a doorway up here, but no loading zone. It's very interesting. So there was obviously something more to these rooms that they removed. Okay, here we go. So their attacks either do all but 1 HP, or only do 1 HP. So it's kind of a gamble, because if they do the one that only does all but 1, then they can't kill you. At the same time, if they only do the one that does one on you, then it's never going to kill you because it's going to take too long.
90 tech points. Holy crap. You're strong. Take this. No. Thankfully, we could just heal up right there. Speed tab, we're gonna give that to Luca. Magic, we will give that to Marl. I'm Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge, each in turn. Alright, so yeah, now he just goes back through his uh, statements over and over. Interesting, he looks like Masa and Mune, though. Man, this area is awesome. <laughs> and I mean that, like, semi-sarcastically, because it's like, getting around here is a pain in the ass. The people that live up here are complete assholes. But damn, if it doesn't look and sound awesome. This is the Queen's Palace, the center of the Zeal Kingdom, which makes this the center of the universe. source of our energy lies deep below the sea. Now that its exact location has been found, the Ocean Palace will be built. Use the Queen's Hall to get to the Ocean Palace, which is under construction. The Wandering Prophet is amazing. All his prophecies have come true. It's as if he knows the future. How eerie. Could you... Scratch my back. Um, thanks. Ah, uh, you got it. Phew! Phew. Thank you. You discovered the new scratch point. Well, now I could go back to the other town and, and do that thing. How cruel. Visitors, do you like plants? Oh, you're just like me. But the queen ordered me to burn the sapling I received from the Guru of Life. What a bitch! He said it was a magical sapling with powers to cure the environment. What shall I do? Secretly plant it. You're right. Even if it is the queen's command, the Guru of Life gave it to me. I can't burn it. I'm going to grow it with love. Someday it may save the environment. If I'm reborn, I hope it'll be in a land full of green forests. So I guess the implication is that she's the person that plants the forest, the woods in 600 AD, like her reincarnation, and then you make it grow in 1000 AD, and then it's the seed that exists in the future that you agree to plant or whatever. My, what strange clothes. You must be travelers from afar. Use the spring of recovery to recuperate from your journey.
Even Balthazar is gone, after designing the Blackbird in the Ocean Palace. How strange that the three gurus who guide Zeal have all disappeared. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He's making a Chrono Trigger, or Time Egg, or something, but no one has seen him for ages. This leads to the Hall of the Mammon Machine. The Prophet's aura is full of hatred and sorrow. He'll destroy himself and those he loves. Beyond is the Hall of the Mammon Machine. The incredible energy of Lavos pervades it. The Mammon Machine? You came to see it? Oh, but you must feel them! The last of the great Lavos' emanations! I thought so. Feel the flow of the mighty Lavos's power? Oh, I feel faint. This connects to the Queen's Hall. The Earth is alive and it has changed over the aeons. From flat lands into mountains, from mountains into oceans, you may find the way. That is, if you could pass aeons of time at the Forbidden Palace, or the Sun Keep. The Queen must have borne pain and sorrow in silence. No pain, no gain. Zeal too was born out of much sacrifice and work. This will take you to the bedroom. completion of the Ocean Palace will allow Zeal to last forever, and there will be no fear or sadness, just eternal peace. The Queen's aide, Dalton, was in charge of the Ocean Palace, until some traveling prophet took over. He's in a bad mood, so you should avoid him. Ask the Queen of the Gurus if you want to know about the Mammon Machine or the Ocean Palace. But just between us, she probably won't give you the time of day. Did you know Balthazar? Or sorry, Balthazar. I thought it was Balthazar all this time. The Guru of Reason has secret rooms in Hassan and Kajar. Yeah, I know. I went to them both. That man's a newcomer, but his accurate prophecies earned the Queen's trust. He's a drifter. He's not any of us enlightened ones, nor one of the earthbound ones either. Hmm. The Queen's two heirs, Shala and Janice, get along so well. If only Janice would open up to others. That pendant of yours, it looks like Shala's, but it doesn't glow. Beings that are born of dreams must return to them. The power of Lavos can make hopes and dreams come true. I wonder how old man Melchior is. Humans are so odd. I want to be the wind, Masa. Oh, you will someday. Big sister Doreen's at Inhasa again. Yeah, that's because she likes dreams. I like the wind better. Whoosh! Alright, so Masa and Mune and Doreen are siblings. But I don't understand. I, I don't get what Doreen's uh, deal is. Maybe I missed something. Is that like like the village? Sandorino? Sandorito? Shala's pendant was made from the same red rock as the Mammon Machine. When she chants, the pendant glows. Oh, I thought I had more tabs on me. I don't. Shala. Oh, you're back, Janice. Is something wrong? The Black Wind. You feel it too. Don't worry. It will be alright. Now, hold on to this. What is it? It's 
It's a kind of amulet. If something should happen, it'll protect you. I wish I could be with you always, but... Mother has other plans. She's not our mother. She looks like our mother, but inside, she has changed. Still, I can't. Janice, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Highness. The Queen asks for your immediate presence in the Ocean Palace. Alright. Well, Janice, I'll be going. Oh, who might you be? Mishala, please hurry. If you're late, I'll be punished. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Don't waste your time. Alpha Door only likes me. Go away. This is another room with an unused loading uh, trigger. If you go behind the bookcases, it loads one of the endings for some reason. No one may enter while the Queen is away at the Ocean Palace. Your pendant! It looks just like Shala's. I heard that when Shala communes with the Mammon Machine, her pendant starts to glow. To open the door from the outside, an item like Shala's pendant is needed to break the seal. Your pendant! It looks just like hers! Hmm. Just as we thought. It won't budge. Hmm. There's something to this pendant. Uh, before we continue, let me do the new thing. <clears throat> which means I have to go back down, which is kind of annoying. But let's get it done, because once you do it, there's really no reason to come back here. I'm actually gonna stop in like another 20 minutes or so. This was gonna. This is a short stream. Scratch, scratch. Oh. Phew. <laughs> oh god, you just do it again. Does he give you more than one? This is the source of Zeal's strength, the Memon Machine. It draws and magnifies the infinite power of Lavos. That pendant, it looks like Shala's. When she chants to the Memon Machine, the pendant glows, as if they were in union. If the Memon Machine is moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The ultimate dream of eternal youth, Luth? 
good. Youth and life is now possible. O oh, almighty queen, our kingdom of zeal will reign forever. When the mammon machine was finished, the queen changed almost overnight. Just between us, I heard that anyone who opposes her, and not just the earthbound ones, vanishes. Melchior, who opposed the queen's plans, have vanished. Or has vanished. You're not thinking what I am, are you? Three gurus made the mammon machine from the royal family's red rock. Melchior, who has studied much about Lavos, was in charge of the plans. But then he disappeared. Magic strong enough to control the extraction of energy is needed to control the mammon the mammon machine. If it did anything. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Even a door of this caliber can't keep science at bay. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, they are the evil doers I warned you of. How dare you think you could oppose me, you foreigners! You're worse than the gurus! Fool! Dalton, take them away! Yes, ma'am, by your leave. Golem! Let's just disappear for a minute. I believe it is possible to beat this thing, but I don't think I ever have. I honestly feel like the whole point of this enemy is to just... kind of prove that, like... The technology of this time period is no- like, you're no match for it. Cause he wrecks you pretty heartily. Not. You won't die. Immediately, that is. By the time we're done with you, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion! <laughs> Idiots! What will you do, Shala? Let us rescue them. I think it's useless. Besides, if they escape, you'll be in trouble. Don't worry about me. They m just might be able to rescue the gurus. Are you alright? Quickly, escape from the palace. And if you can, please rescue Melchior. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the Queen. Please, you have to help him. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. You mustn't. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I'll spare them, but in return, you will cooperate, Shala. Now, show me how you came here.
Hmm. So you came in through here. Now, Shala, or now, Shala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. No, you can't make me... Obey me. There are lives at stake. I... Oh, all right. And now she puts a square enix triangle around it. Or square triangle, sorry. When they when Square Enix became a thing, they kind of dropped the whole triangle motif. Please forgive me. Square just loved pyramids. Why did the Prophet let us go? key to defeating Lavos must exist in that period. Wait a minute. I've seen the design on this pendant. I've seen the design on the doors this pendant opens. Somewhere else. Check it out, Chrono. No more sweet water. Never happened before. Found strange rock, but feel icky when touched, so throw it away. Oh, damn it, how am I gonna heal? Less monster, now cold. Less animal, too. Brr, cold. Hey, look, quit chief. Now Kino chief. Bright fire, lavos, fall. Get cold now. So now that I have the pendant charged with energy, I can open up those chests and doors. Uh, and you know, there is like a, a technique to it that I gotta remember how to do. Thankful for Yoka. When for village burn, they take us in. Many clouds and sky. No can see sun. White cold stuff fall from sky. What that? Do they have more stuff now, or does it not upgrade? Nah, it's the same as before. Keen did good. Take time. Rest. Oh, you can rest? Okay. believe is a little bonus there is a new up in this burnt out village that will let you change your party members names or not I guess not yet that's later
Aha, so you've been to the land of magic. Now that the Pillar of Light is sealed, you'll be needing something that will transport you through time. I recall someone working on such a device. The Wings of Time, I believe he called it. I'm afraid he became a tad psychotic spending so much of his time doing research. Break the seal! Well... Mmm... Yes. Actually, we got a couple things to do when we go back to the present. I believe the way the chests work is, now that I can open them, I go to 600 AD, talk to them, Refuse to open it. Come to 1000 AD, open them, get a better item, then go back to 600 AD and open them again and get both items. I believe there's a chest over here that's only in this time period, though. Wall ring. Huh? Something else in here? What in the world? It's another ring. But yeah, obviously that only applies to chests that exist in both time periods. So stuff like the one here and the one in, uh... There's another one-off somewhere. Magus's castle and the path to it. Since there's only that cave, those two areas only exist in that one time period. Share and share alike. Helping the needy. Thinking about making that the town motto. I love my daddy. Person I like most? My dad, of course. I wish my husband were a little less generous. So yeah, if you remember the beginning of the game, he was a super selfish person. But now that I gave his ancestor the jerky, or whatever, yeah, it was the jerky. He's nice now. Everyone thinks Dad's generous. Does that mean they think he's cool? Who knows? So those two chests I don't open now. That's that's what I gotta remember. I thought he gave you something, but I guess not. I think maybe that plays into a, a side quest later, actually. That's what I'm thinking of. Stop. Medina Village. I don't know if I can access that place right now. I think I could unseal the blue thing, but I'm not sure. The triangles. Pendant? 
This is the only era you can actually reach this, because I believe in 600 AD it's covered by gr uh, by uh, forest. It doesn't exist in the future, and in uh, 12,000 BC you can't get to it. It's a new. The seal has been broken. I will give you the treasure of the Guru of Reason. To the right is a weapon which increases strength. To the left is protective gear which will guard your life. Choose whichever you feel you need and take it with you. Thirteen thousand years was a long time. Balthazar, I shall see you shortly. So do I want the, tr the weapon or the armor? And the answer is, of course, the weapon. Got a swallow. That's a pretty substantial bump in a ability too. Yeah, because the only other time period you could reach that, conceivably, would be 600 AD. And in that time period, it's completely surrounded. There's no way to access it. That said, I believe we should go to 600 AD and start activating the chests. I'm not going to do any more story stuff tonight because I'm stopping in, like, less than 10 minutes. Chests exist in this time period. The hero has brought us peace, and I have delivered the bell to the king. What more could we ask for? Hurrah for Guardia! Let's toast our land. Oh, Trusin, I believe, has uh, boxes. Yep. The box has been in the family for generations. Open it and you may have what's inside. Something is reacting to the pendant. Take the item inside? No. So yeah, the other ones you just open automatically. If it's one that can be upgraded, they'll ask you first. Sandorino, just because this town doesn't exist at any other point. Oh, can I get that now? It's locked. Do I have someone that can open it, maybe? Is that a Naga et Bromide you've got there? I'll trade you something good for it. How about it? Oh, that's the thing I found at the very beginning of the game. Let's trade. Really, you mean it? Yahoo! Now just hold your horses and I'll be back in a jiffy. That's weird. I don't remember... What did I do to trigger that? It's unlocked, so you're free to take it. And I'll be taking this. <laughs> don't tell Granny. <laughs> My very own Naga et Pet. 
Oh, magic tab. All right, let me see what those uh, items I got did do. Did did do did did. Dash ring, speed plus three, wall ring, magic defense plus ten. The sunken desert is open. I would not go there yet. We are not prepared for that. Boxes. So that one reacts. Something is inside. Move the object. No. Let me talk to this one. Move the object. No. So now what happens is I'll go to the future. What was in there will be upgraded, and then I could come back and get the downgraded version in the past. Otherwise, it's just one or the other. Or even so, I think the one in the future isn't as good if you don't talk to the box ahead of time. Anyway, we're gonna go back in the magic cave for just a few moments so I can get uh this. Magic ring. I think that's the only one in here, I'm not sure. Yep. There's a few more chests like that. I believe there's one in Guardia Castle too. Maybe I'll run over there real quick. And there's also some in the, uh, later on, you can go to, uh, an area in the upper right of this map that has a couple more. There's also a, che a chest in here, too, I believe. Oh, no, that was just a one-off. Speed tab. I got, I got a couple minutes, so I'm fine. Since you saved the day, I just cooked. I'm whipping up a victory reel. meal. Something real fancy. We destroyed Magus's troops and we owe it all to Chrono. Chrono, oh my thanks extend for generations to come. Y you're alive. Although we did sustain major casualties, we wouldn't have made it without you. Anyway, we must all work together to rebuild the kingdom of Guardia. We're all in this together. 
Uh, yeah, about that. I got other shit to do. I don't know how to thank you. Frog, where's Frog? Frog, so you've teamed up with Chrono and the others. You've done a fine job. Please remain with us as long as you wish. My heart is glad. Thank you, my liege. Frog, thanks again. You deserve the title, Knight. Waste not such precious words on me. Anyway, I believe that's it, so I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, next week, another two, most likely. Hopefully not a short one, either. Um, is there anyone I want to host before I go? The answer is... No, not really. I'll just let the, um... I'll just let the auto-host take it over. Alright, well, in that case, you guys have a great evening, and I will see you all next week. Good night.